All right, now we've identified the leg that we're using. We've already figured out how to posture up and help our opponent over our leg. Now the idea here is to understand how we're going to do this throw if we encounter any resistance. Because right now there's no resistance, but what if there's some resistance? So my partner Daniel, I could easily come in and he could easily lift his leg up around and I would not be able to throw him if he doesn't want to. Because he's got his balance here, his posture straight up and down, he's strong. I need to ensure that his balance is off. So that's why we're going, to identify, we're going to focus on this part, the punch and the push in this part of the, of the drill. So what I need to do with this is I need to push Daniel so his foot comes off the ground. Once his foot's off the ground, all the weight's on this leg, and then I can come in and do my technique. And what I'm going to do is move it nice and slow. I'm not going to do the whole thing. What I want to do is get his legs together. And then, now my seated dodge is right here, and he will not have any option but to fall. So it looks something like this, and you can still go nice and slow. I'm pushing, pushing down. And you, and you notice, he's not flopping over my leg. I am, uh, I am unbalancing him. And that's what you're gonna do in a street fight. It's not gonna be a nice smooth throw. You're, you're unbalancing them to the point where they're falling down so you can get out of there. So I did that once, and now Daniel's gonna do it to me. He pushes, my foot comes up, he comes in and I fall down. All right, once you have that mastered, you're ready for the next part.